Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest gruesome and grotesque video. As always, I just do these videos randomly when I come across a news article there on my Google News app or something that I read online that I feel merits posting within this playlist. Such is the case with this poor, unfortunate, tragic death of an associate there from a Caterpillar foundry, someone who died by basically being incinerated instantly within an iron vat like this is one of those molten iron vats that's several thousand degrees hot well he ended up tripping and then falling right into it you could just imagine how quickly somebody goes at that point but more information is coming out now and it turns out only half of them fell within that actual vat and the other half somewhere there on the factory floor you could just imagine the employees finding something like that too Overall, again, a very, very tragic circumstance, and it, some of the news is still popping out, too, about what could happen to Caterpillar as well afterward. But you're looking at a picture of him now, along with what should be one of those iron vats or iron crucible, and his name was Stephen Dirks. So let's go ahead and let's share that information here, and then that way, i uh, love to hear what your own thoughts and comments on there. Maybe those of you that are on the local level as well that know more about Stephen, then please post them below. But here's essentially what happened. He had just started his job there at the Caterpillar Mapleton Foundry, which you're looking at a picture of here. There's two versions though about the story. Early on, it was stating that he was on day nine when it came to his job. And then now it's stating that it's on his fifth day. Either way though, it gives you an idea that Stephen Stephen was basically just a newbie, like basically just starting brand new there at the Caterpillar Mapleton Foundry. Unknown, though, if he had maybe some um, uh, veteran status elsewhere, like in other words, experience as a worker of such type of level already at another company. And then he was there just starting with the company for Caterpillar or if he was brand new all around, someone might have to Fill in the comments on there too. But either way, either on the fifth day or on the ninth day, he was there taking an inspection. Story goes that he was testing something associated with that 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 vat. Like it was either something on the lines of testing the temperature or doing something else associated with it. And this was something that was considered an 11 foot deep pot of molten iron. This is something that as you're seeing here is heated up to a very high degree over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, obviously to make sure that it stays in a molten status. And then he was there just doing something, kneeling over, and then all of a sudden he tripped. The worst thing that could happen at the worst time possible occurred. He ended up tripping and then fell into the vat itself. And as the report goes, that means that he was instantly incinerated, at least the part that was tied to his body that was there inside the vat. I don't know if it was the upper half or the lower half, but the information that came out afterwards states that only part of him went within the vat. So I got the impression then that he was someone where he tripped, almost caught himself, but unfortunately it was too little, too late. Part of him, either the front half or the bottom half, ended up going within the vat. That part obviously was instantly incinerated. It left the other part of his body to just fall onto the deck below. And then that's where the rest of the workers saw obviously what was happening and then immediately went to go check it out. And then from what circumstances state, there was no foul play. An investigation was done as well that to see if something like that occurred, but it was ruled out. And then that's when OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, also took over. Some sources have stated, too, that the rest of the employees that were gathered there were obviously trying to get more information. The factory workers see what occurred. A lot of them, or all of them, actually got sent home during that day as well as the uh, police came aboard and then the other types of investigators, too, to see what happened. But obviously, the death itself was instantaneous. Can you imagine just something along those lines? Just being able to be close that close to 2,000 degrees, you obviously have to have some kind of very special equipment 
that you're wearing to make sure that there's nothing else impacting you um, in terms of your body. This place is actually considered one of the largest melters in the main foundry melting area as well. This is what they do. It's a very, very large complex. Apparently, it houses... Um, 50, like several of those uh, very large components and it states that they end up doing thousands of tons of melted iron each day and they ended up producing castings that go from about 15 pounds to 22,000 pounds so those of you that deal with large equipment on the caterpillar side there's a good chance that uh, some of your equipment came from here from this actual location well there he was this poor guy steven just doing his job a new person there at that location he and then he was taking some kind of reading and then he ended up actually falling in the story goes afterward too that it took the investigators hours to be able to piece together his pieces so to speak from it from the actual ore as opposed to his own body I, I, i'm surprised that there was actually even anything found of him considering the very very high temperature associated with that molten iron you would think that something like that would be essentially um that 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 that, that there would be nothing left but apparently there were still some items, but my condolences to the family, to everyone involved from the indications of all the articles I was reading. He was definitely a good guy. He was someone that was much beloved. It was stated that he may have not received enough sufficient training to be in that melting area. And with that equipment he was wearing, I imagine how cumbersome that can be too. Uh, I could just totally imagine him accidentally tripping on some of that equipment that he had on and then actually, you know, just going over. Over, going into that actual vat itself and it was too little too late in terms of any attempt to be able to do something uh, for him or at least that he could catch himself in time and then osha as i was mentioning took over they did an investigation they ended up stating that caterpillar did not have and this is just based on their information that they did not have enough of guardrails associated with that area and some of the other vats as well and so they got fined something like one hundred fifty thousand dollars or so uh, because of the risks associated with that not having those in place could cause more problems later on for some of the associates there. Um, but there was also apparently another death that occurred, not because of the vats, but it was just from a fall, an accident that occurred uh, sometime last year, if I'm not mistaken. And so because of it, this is now their second fine in that location. But yeah, Authority said that Caterpillar did not install the federally regulated guardrails or restraint systems to protect anyone from falling over into this type of situation. So more investigation, I'm sure, will happen and it'll come out soon as to what the final results are. But otherwise, just wanted to present this here uh, with regards to this this Mapleton Foundry, what occurred there for that poor guy, Derek. It's a big facility again, 800 employees there. I imagine that there's lots of stuff done there to make sure, I mean, those employees that they follow as much possible when it comes to being safe, that they keep each other safe and so on. Um, but in this case, the worst bit of news happened at the worst moment possible, standing over that vat and then accidentally tripping and then basically just going right into an instant incineration. So horrible stuff. But if anybody has any more info on the local side, again, someone, maybe if you know this 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 poor guy, uh, Stephen, with regards to him at a local level, then please post those comments below. And then anyone that has more information, something else I might have missed, then also post it as well. All right, everybody. Thanks again, as always. Take care. Bye.